as we see more extreme weather, fire season is turning into a year-round battle. And Coloradans are starting to see higher homeowners insurance costs as some are already struggling to find coverage. Your investigator Katie Weiss joins us live from the Cory Fire with how those fires will have impacts across our state. And Katie, what are insurance experts sharing with you? Well, Karen McKelly, uh, Colorado ranks seventh in the nation for above average insurance premium costs. And I'm told as we continue to see more extreme weather events like these wildfires this week, we're only going to continue to see a hike in those insurance premium costs. And many of us might also lose our coverage altogether. We are in a very challenging situation in Colorado. Carol Walker with the Rocky Mountain Insurance Association says it's inevitable that insurance premiums will go up over time. We're ranked second in the nation for hail insurance claims, third for the amount of wildfire risk. We have the hardest market for insurance that we've had in a generation. In fact, according to a study just released by the National Bureau of Economic Research, insurance premiums have already increased by 33 percent nationwide due to extreme weather events caused by climate change over the last three years. And over the next 10 years, climate exposed households are expected to face a $700 increase in annual insurance premiums. These increases are also happening in areas where there haven't been wildfires. In my community of Arapahoe County, homeowners saw an insurance premium increase of 25 percent since 2020. In Adams County, an increase of 21 percent. And in Denver County, an increase of 33 percent. Insurance is one of those things really that was underpriced for a long time because you didn't use it very much. In the meantime, Walker advises everyone to do a policy checkup. That is a wake up call to everyone that the unthinkable can happen and can happen in an instant. You need to think about now of doing an annual insurance checkup with your insurance professional of what are my limits? What are my deductibles? What do I have for building code upgrades? These are all questions that you don't want to ask after the unthinkable happens. Now, a bill passed in this year's legislative session is going to require the state's Division of Insurance to conduct a thorough, detailed market research study into some of the reasons why insurance rates continue to go up and uh, many people are receiving the, that canceled coverage. That uh, study should be coming out by the end or by the beginning of 2026, that is. If you'd like to learn more about that bill that just passed, just find the story right now on our website, cbscolorado.com. Reporting live from Jeffco, I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado for and Katie, we know you will keep us updated. Thank you so much. We are